Alright, hello everyone, we're back at it with another episode of Skyrim Wildlander Permadeath. And we're out here with Rovald Frostflame camping in front of the gates of Riften. And in the last episode we did a little bit of fishing, we did a little bit of skinning of this bear. We actually still have more to harvest from there. And we've got our little campsite set up here. And uh, in this episode we're going to keep working on finding new work, uh, finding new quests to do here in Riften. Um, but before we get going on that, I want to look over here. There's a bear over here, and it's making noise, and it's right there. And I want to see if we can lure this bear back to the guards, so let's see if we get its attention. What's up, bear? Oh, shit. Alright, he's going to come this way. Let's get moving. Let's use these trees to kind of try to block him. Alright. And he's going to follow us. Okay, we're going to go this way. This way, this way. Come on. Let's lure him back to the guards. And uh, I want to see if we can get this guy to... Uh, follow us back to the guards. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's go into this tower. Alright, good, good, good. This guard is gonna help us. Alright, good. Ag Agar Mir, this guy's been goaded. He's been helping us with these bears and trolls and such. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice hit. There we go. Nice. Good work. Good work. Alright. A little bit of excitement to start the episode, but we got another bear to skin here. And uh, we still have more to harvest from the troll and, the, and these two bears. But um, before we do that, I'm going to go up here. We have a few things to sell, and it looks like the Khajiit Caravan haven't left yet. So before they leave, I just want to go talk to them and sell a few things. And uh, let's talk to Akari here. And let's see, what do we have to sell? I think we can probably sell this Iron Woodcutter's Axe. Um, although, I'm, I don't know. Hold on, let's just take a look at what other stuff we have to sell. Uh, we could sell a few Mountain Flowers for sure. Um, this Book Collector's Journal, I don't know. Maybe we'll hang on to that for a second. Um, I could sell these paper rolls. We got some large animal bones, but I want to actually look at what she has to sell. Because we actually have a good amount of gold now to spend. So let's take a look. Uh, I want to see if she has any toolkits. Oh, good. She does have a chef's toolkit. So we can buy one of those. Um, she's got some rugs, some pelts. I want to see if she has like a barrel or a chest that I can buy off of her so we can kind of set that up next to our camp and I don't think she does oh that's okay let's see she's got a scroll of knock and throwable flame powder these are both good but they're kind of expensive we don't have a massive amount of gold to spend uh, and she does have stamina potions and stuff but let's see what does she have in the way of armor a scaled helmet uh, leather helmet of destruction, okay. I think we're good on that. Let's take a look at what kind of weapons she has. She does have an, an iron heavy crossbow. It would be good to have a ranged option, but um, let's see. Does she have any other kind of crossbow? Nah. Alright, so should we get this iron heavy crossbow? It might be good to have this. Uh, just, to, just so we have something so we can hit enemies from a distance. I think we'll pick this up, and let's get some iron bolts to go with it. Alright, that's going to be kind of expensive, but I'll take it. And, uh, I guess... I guess that's good for now. Should we... I mean, we have the steel war axe, so... Should I sell the iron woodcutter's axe? We can always get another one later, if we need it. Um, how's our weight looking? Actually, I think I'll just hang on to it for now, just in case we find a better weapon than the war axe. And, uh, let's see here. How are you guys doing? This is Karjo, Zainabi. Alright, why don't we, um, head back here. I'm gonna go ahead and skin these bears and get as much animal fat 
and ingredients off of them as I can. It's really good taking advantage of these guards and just having them kill stuff for us and then we can so we don't have to uh, worry about that ourselves. Let me have some bear meat. There we go. And let's go ahead and field dress this bear. And let's see, what can we get off of you? Harvest ingredients. And the hours are passing by. We get some bear claws, a bear tooth. Is that it? I think we can butcher the meat and this should give us a good amount of fat. Um, and meat as well. Animal fat, okay. It's already getting late. Let me, um, let's see. We got a ton of food here to sell. So let me just uh, drop this bear meat, and uh, let's let's have ourselves. Let's see. Should we have? Let's just have some water right now. That's that's good. And um, I don't know. Should we? I guess we can try to keep harvesting from this. Let's see if we get more uh, animal fat. Okay. We just get more bear meat and animal fat. Good, good. That's what we want. Alright, I'm going to keep dropping the bear meat, and it's already pretty late, so we might have to go rest pretty soon. Where are these people? Here, let me take out my torch. It's already dark. Uh, we should favorite that. Hello there. Dustin. Something. Take a look. What, have you, what have you got for sale? Oh, this guy has a bunch of stuff for sale. Um, why don't we see if we can sell him some of this stuff? Animal fat. There we go. We'll sell him this. Get a speech increase, very nice. Don't sell the glass fish. Sell this. Uh, I'll hang on to the salt, because it's useful for cooking. And right there we made a little bit of money. And uh, we have an extra survivalist toolkit I can sell. And uh, can I sell you, how about we sell off this cooked troll meat and the cooked bear meat? Because we have no shortage of bear meat here. Get a little more extra gold for that. Cool, cool. Right. Are you just you guards? Yes. Need something. Um, can you train me? Nah, I don't think so. It's worth trying. You never know if uh, if you can uh, get a little extra training. Why doesn't the wooden torch stay in my favorites list? That has to be fixed. I don't know why that doesn't work. Um, okay, very good. Uh, it's already pretty late. We might have to rest until tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's go back to our campsite for the evening, and maybe let's try to get some more animal fat off of this bear, and then we'll, uh, looks like our fire died up, but that's okay. Um, let's, uh, let's get some more meat off of this bear, and now it's pretty late. Animal fat, good. Um, yeah, our campfire died out, so I can't cook this until I get some more wood. Let's see. Alright, let's throw that in there. Good tinder. And let's get our fire going. And uh, I think in the morning we're going to he uh, head into Riften and we're going we're gonna to look around for some new work. Um, obviously not being allowed to do alchemy makes it much harder to make money. Because <laughs> I'm used to just obviously making a bunch of potions and relying on that. Here, let's see if we can improve this fire a little bit. Um, let's turn this, these paper rolls into good tinder. And, uh, let me get some wood. Let's chop some wood here. There we go. And we get a little inspired by the flame. Very good. Let's chop some wood from these trees and then we're gonna cook up that bear meat. Come on. There we go. Let me get some more from here. And the moon is up in the sky. The auroras are above. And it's a very beautiful evening here. A little after midnight. There we go. Uh, let's get some squash here. Some gourds. I guess we could take those. And uh, let's use the fire. And let me see. I should be able to get a good deal of kindling from this wood. Upgrade the fire. Upgrade the fire. And I just need one more piece of wood and then I can uh, turn this into an inspiring fire. 
Yeah, let, let me just cut, chop some wood here. Yeah, I think it takes anywhere between... Uh, I think it, it's like under 10 chops. Something like that. Alright, and then uh, also we're increasing our uh, camping skill by doing this. So that's good. Let's cook up this bear meat. And then we're gonna tuck back into bed. And look at this, we got our chef's toolkit now. And we can actually make bear carrot stew because we have a glass bottle of water, bear meat, and carrots. So this is really good. We'll make two of those. And um, we don't want to cook these fish just yet. But uh, let's cook down some of this bear meat. And I'll save a couple for, uh, for, for making bear carrot stew. I think that'll be our soup of choice for now. And it's just a beautiful evening. Let's say a prayer to Talos since it's the next day now. And we're giving thanks for our good fortune on this journey so far. But mighty Talos has protected us. Very good. And we increase our favor with our deity, and that'll give us a better bonus. More attack ver versus elves. Alright, let's sleep until the morning, and then we're gonna head into Riften. We're gonna find some new uh, quests to do for work. And, um, very good. Alright, let's see. Camping perk progress increased. Good. Now, let me drink this, and let's have a... Uh, Let's start the day with a bear carrot stew. And there we go, we're feeling satisfied. It's another kind of cloudy day here in the rift. But that's all good. It was a very nice evening by the campfire there. Look at all these dead bodies of stuff we've gotten the guards to kill. Very good. And <laughs> bears and trolls and random bandits and stuff. Looks like the Kaji are still here. Let's see if we can uh, sell a little bit, little bit more to Akari before she heads out. Take a look. I was worried that they would leave, so... Uh, yeah, we can sell this animal fat. We get a hundred for that. Sell these flowers. Cool. Very good, very good. And um, I should probably favorite that heavy crossbow that we got and equip the bolts. And I'm gonna put this... Let's also favorite our shield, by the way. Um, I'm gonna hit that on a favorite, so... That'll be two, that'll be three, uh, that'll be four. Good, good, good. Cool. There we go, and now we can equip our shield. Alright, let's go around the side here. And let's head into Blackbriar Meadery. I wanna go, uh... Because it looks like, how are we doing on mead? Because uh, we need a, we need to keep Rovald stocked up with mead. We do have a little bit of white wine, but it looks like we're all out of... I think we're all out of mead and mead and ale, so... We're running dry, we gotta restock. Let's head into Blackbriar Meadery. And look at this, we got 930 gold now. We're basically rich. I mean, this is probably more gold than Rovald has ever seen in his whole life. So, let's... uh. Let's duck into Blackbriar Meadery here. And let's see here. Now there's a lot of elves that work in the Blackbriar Meadery, but when we're out of ale, we gotta deal with whoever we can whoever we can find. Um Asgir Snowshod, I guess there's a he's a Nord who works here. Let's go check out if there's anyone we should be talking to in here. Um, what's this guy doing? Romlin Drith? Ah, you don't say. Ah, uh, well, what are you selling? Nothing but the best. Blackbriar mead, fresh from the back. Ah, uh, Blackbriar mead, you say? Hmm. You don't have to pay the ridiculous prices Maven charges. So what do you say to that? Um, sure, I'll take one. There you go. Oh, now keep it quiet. This stuff isn't exactly mm. easy to get a hold of at these prices. Alright, well, uh, thank you very much. And we got a little Blackbriar Mead. This is a little bit stronger than Nord Mead. It gives us 40 points of extra health for 300 seconds. And then it slows stamina and twice that. Stamina by 25%, twice that for Magicka for 450 seconds, but we're gonna drink it. We can't help it. Um, hey, um, are you selling any more Blackbriar Mead? Absolutely. Still want to buy yeah, I'll take another. There you go. Oh, keep All right. 
This stuff isn't exactly easy to get a hold of. All right, good. We got a little bit more mead. And what might you need? Um, so you're selling this cheap mead, huh? No, friend. You got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. Hmm. I'll sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns pay for the meadery. Oh, yeah. You don't All say. All I need is someone hmm. to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. Uh, what kind of delivery? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Arverstead. Okay. Drop it off, and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the late work. Trade me oh, something. All right, you well. Bump into Darren from the meadery. Keep your mouth shut. He'd write us out in a second. All right, I'll uh, I'll do it. Good. Now get going. Now, um, I know we said we won't openly break the laws of Skyrim, but this isn't technically a crime. This isn't actually registering as a crime. I mean, if anything, I mean, the Blackbriars are just doing crime. So if we're going against them, uh. I think that's all right, and you know, this is an interesting role-playing opportunity because this is, uh, you know, th we're helping this elf here, which, you know, Raval has a prejudice against elves, let's say, but you know, he loves the mead, and if he can uh, get more of it, then this is a good opportunity, and this Blackbriar mead is good stuff. So, I think we're gonna go ahead and help out this guy. We're gonna have to head to Iverstead, and let's take a look at our inventory here. We got this Blackbriar mead keg now. Um, so let's go ahead and let's look at our quest here, and uh, we gotta deliver this mead to uh, Wilhelm and Iverstead. So let's go ahead and do that next. Um, but before we head out on the road, the road is gonna be very dangerous. So I think we're going to pay a visit to the blacksmith, see if we can get some gear before we head out. Um, now the road from Riften to Iverstead has a lot of threats. There's frostbite spiders, bears, wolves, uh, and thieves. A lot of times I've noticed thieves will spawn. Um, let's uh, fill, our, fill our bottle with a little Nord mead there. And uh, let's go and let's stop by Balamin the blacksmith. And let's see. Come to see Balamin perform miracles. Uh, what have you got for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. All right, let me um, let's see. How are we doing on weight? We're doing just fine on weight. What should we take with us here? Let's look at his gear. There's a studded cuirass. Now that would be. That would give us a solid amount of armor. Um, hide lace. Let me go ahead and buy... I'm going to buy one of these because we can make a necklace with that, with the survivalist toolkit. We just need some small animal bones. Um, should we go ahead and buy the studded cuirass? I feel like it would be a good idea. Let's get the studded cuirass, let's get the leather helmet, and the leather bracers. And that'll give us a little bit of extra protection, but we're still going to avoid fighting as best we can. But uh, let's put on this gear that we just got. Alright, good. Now we're looking like all kitted out. Revald's got some armor now. And let's also see if we can get some potions. Um, let's actually walk around Riften a little bit before we head to Iverstead. Let's see what's going on around this town. Um, we should be able to harvest a good amount of ingredients here, so... Let's take a look at the missives board, too. Deliver weapon to Shore Stone. Alright, there's another delivery we can do. So we got a few deliveries to, to do, and we can get some gold and rewards for that. Let's just gather up uh, ingredients around town here. There's a little community garden we can collect from. Um, so let's take the stuff. And then we'll stop by the alchemist shop before we head out. We gotta sell this. We should get a couple hundred gold for all this stuff once we gather it. And uh, towns almost always have a good amount of ingredients in them, so... Even though we're not doing alchemy, you know, we can just sell this stuff, so... Alright, there we go. Uh, can I gather this... Yep, we'll gather this stuff. 
And we're just picking flowers here in the cemetery. It's actually cleared up. It's not so cloudy anymore, so that's good. Let's see, what's in here? Some nightshade. All of this is going to be helpful. We need every little scrap we can get. So let's take this stuff. Yes. And uh, then we're going to stop by Elgrim's Elixirs down on the lower dock uh, of Riften here. And it looks like there's a shrine to Maite Talos. Um, let's go ahead and say a prayer. Praise Maite Talos. Yes. And uh, we'll take these ingredients as well. Alright, good. I think we've gotten a good amount of ingredients collected here. Um, is this gate... This gate is locked behind an expert lock, but there's a ton of lavender and stuff in there. Not sure I can get in, but that's okay. All good. I think this is a good amount of stuff. Um, Alright, let's take these ingredients and let's head... Let's head down to the lower walkway here. Uh, oh, a fish barrel. We can scrounge around in here for some more stuff. Some salt. Um, look at this. Very good. We'll take those. I'll leave the raw meat and stuff. We'd, we have no shortage of food. From all that bear meat that we cooked up. Um, let's take this stuff. Alright. Uh, hello there. I can show you some coin. Uh, here's a gold coin, my Excellent. brother. Thank you. What about you? Gold. What? Oh, he's thanks. just he's just like gold. Bless your <laughs> Give me gold. All right, fine. Here, have have a bit of gold, beggar. All right. It is noble to help the those less fortunate. What's this guy doing? Need something? Why does he have an orc voice? The finest skooma. Ah, uh, well, I'm not interested, my brother. But uh, this guy's just selling skooma and poison. So whatever. Until next time. Let's see, what else is down here? We can take some apples. I guess people have been fishing here. I want to do a little bit of fishing today too, just a little bit. See if we can catch uh, some of the other fish that we need on the list. Um, take the salt out of here. Very good. Take the ingredient fish. Salmon meat and clam meat we can leave. Um, what else is in here? Some flour, uh, some rabbit legs and salt, sure, why not. And uh, let's take this stuff, and then we're going to go into the alchemist shop here in just a second. Um, Alright, that's good, that's good. Let's stop into Elgrim's Elixirs, and let's make a little bit of coin. Alright. Hello there. Uh, what have you got for sale? So you're an alchemist, then. <laughs> Not quite, but uh, I'll sell you this stuff. Alright, let's make sure that we don't sell the glass fish. And look at all this gold we're getting from selling this stuff. That's very good. I mean, this is how broken alchemy is. Like, just selling ingredients that you pick is such a good way to make money. Alright, look at this. We're really making good money here. Uh, okay, now let's see, I want to see if he has some health potion. Um, I definitely want these decent restore health potions. Uh, decent stamina potion, not a bad idea. Let's take a couple more crude restore health. Um, now what else should we get? Does he have anything good? Um, fortify health, that doesn't hurt to have one of those. Um, cure poison. That's really expensive, but it's not it's not bad to have it in case we get hit with a frostbite spider or something. Um, let's see, what else does he, does he have? All right, I think should we get this? Um, let's see. I, I think we should maybe take a cure poison and cure disease, but they're really expensive. Hmm. Let's just take one of these, and we'll take one of these. Alright, now we're at 372 gold. And uh, that's looking good. I think we're looking solid. We just gotta make sure we're prepared for the open road ahead. Any kind of food, I could sell them. I could s eh, sell this flour. 
Uh, let's sell these gourds, I guess. Some apples. Some raw bear meat. Oh yeah, we were gonna save those for bear carrots too, but whatever. Um, okay. And wine? Eh, we'll sell it. Okay. Alright, cool. Yes, um, yes. Now let me just open my survivalist toolkit. I want to take Goodbye. a look at... Uh, we can make these engraved bones. I haven't really used these that much before, but um, I think Kinnerith gives stamina regen. And I don't know what her scene does. Julianos, I think, gives magic a regen. Uh, I think we'll... Let's make... I'll take two of those and... Let's just do engraved bones of Kinnereth. That's fine. Alright, cool. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get going. And I think we're going to hit the road and start making our way to Iverstead. And let's deliver this cask of mead to the to the tavern. And uh, let's just make sure that we're prepared for anything that comes along the way. Um, I don't know you. Oh! You and Riften looking for trouble? I'm, uh, you know, I'm just passing through. Yeah, well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking mm. their nose where it doesn't Well, belong. uh, I don't be sticking my nose to the them. Black Who Briars are the Black Briars? Pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back. Okay. So, me, I'm Maul. Okay. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, uh, I'm your guy. I'll just stay Play out of your way. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Hey, uh, you, get over here. I want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Stay out of the Black Briars' business and you live longer. All right. Well, thank you. What a nice, what a nice fellow. Seems like a really cheerful, nice, nice guy. All right. Let's let's hit the road. Actually, I think we're gonna head out the other entrance, but I just want to open this gate so that the uh, the guard stops uh, trying to shake us down when we go try to go through here next time. Um. All right. Okay, should we actually ca uh, pack up our tent and take it with us? It might be a good idea just in case we uh, we decide to keep going. So yeah, let me go grab my tent and then we're gonna head to the other gate of Riften and uh, I will catch you there. Alright, here we are outside the gates of Riften on the other side and we're gonna get going along the road here. And we're gonna have to be very careful and the roads of Skyrim can be very dangerous. All kinds of creatures and ne'er-do-wells can be appearing along the road. So let's just get going and um, let's make sure we watch our stamina meter. So that we... I think we might need to have a soup because it looks like we're losing stamina as we run here. So I think we're going to have to take a bear carrot stew. Yeah, let's take ourselves... Let's just make sure we're... Okay, we're not in combat with anything. And this will give us 3,600 seconds of recovery. So we'll take that. And, uh, of course, we'll gather stuff as we go along the way. So we can sell once we arrive in Iverstead. At least we have a nice sunny day for a change. Yesterday was a little bit cloudy, but now it's looking looking much nicer. And the birch trees are bright against the blue sky. Very nice. Hello, dear. And let's just make our way along the road. And uh, if we come across any kind of threats, we're just going to try to run as fast as we can in the opposite direction from them. And let's, uh, let's just keep our eyes peeled here. The main thing I'm worried about is thieves, because I feel like every time I've walked along this road, I get accosted by a thief at some point. And fortunately, they, they're pretty easy to escape from if you just uh, sprint. So, let's just keep our stamina bar full. Is this Faldris? Yeah, it's Faldris. Okay, well, at least Faldris is here. He's not that strong, but he will fight anything that's hostile if we come across it. So, yeah, let's just keep going here. And keep gathering stuff. 
and hopefully we get a nice reward once we get to Iverset for delivering this cask of mead. And, uh, okay, we got a wolf. Wolf pack here. Alright, let's just keep moving. Doesn't seem they're interested in us. Okay, we haven't been spotted. Good, good. And, uh, yeah, that's the other thing is... I've been using a lot of friendly NPCs to just kill stuff for me, because we're so weak. Our skills are crap, we're only level 2. Alright, who's that? Oh crap, who's that? Wait, that's a Vigilant? That's a Vigilant of Stendar. Okay. Let's actually stick by these Vigilants. They're actually really strong, so... Anything that's hostile, we can just run back to them and they'll take care of it for us. Looks like they're kind of going off the trail here, though. Alright, that's fine. At least we know that they're over there if uh, a bear or a frostbite spider or something comes out. Okay. And let's see, how are we doing? We're, all, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, I'm seeing a lot of wolves hunting deer around here. And they're not much of a threat. Let's see. We can just stagger him. Okay, they're gonna run off. And there's a guy over here. Don't know what, what he's doing. Yeah, it seems that the wolves run off after, like, a single hit. Some dark elf, looks like. Just a Dunmer. Nice! There we go. Okay. Should we harvest this? Oh crap, what is it? What is it? It's a frostbite spider. It's on the other side of the river. Alright, let's just get away from that. Frostbite spiders, uh, surefire way to get killed. There's some more wolves over here. seems the wolves aren't bothering us if we just try to leave them alone. Let me take uh, Crude Restore Health here now. And let's keep an eye on that stamina bar. We don't want that to get too low. We're spotted. Okay. Let's see. Are we... Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and have some of our bear meat. And a pork bass. There we go. And now we're topped off on stamina. Let's make our way along this river. And, uh... Yeah, a big fort over there. We have no interest in that at this point. Um, a little bit of blood. Should we, uh... Let's see. What's the, uh... What's the button for washing ourselves? Is it, is it this? There we go. It looks like I'm trying to place a, uh, a campfire, <laughs> so I hit the wrong button there, but whatever. Let's rinse ourselves off in the river, get some of this blood off of ourselves. Alright, there we go. Um, can I cancel the placement? There we go. Alright. Cool, cool. Ooh, nice center and root. We'll take it. And, uh... Let's carefully make our way along the river. We should reach Iverstead in no time. And here's the village of Iverstead. Now we gotta deliver this to the to the tavern, this cask of ale, or mead I should say. And then we're gonna do a little fishing, see if we can uh, cross some more things off the list for the Riften Fishery job. Alright, just simple jobs here to start out. Nothing crazy, no bandit camps, no ruins spelunking or anything of that nature. Here's the Villamire Inn. Let's stop in and let's talk to the proprietor. Yes. Hey there, um, how's it going? Uh, if I were you, I'd keep away from the I have a delivery from Romlin. All right, pipe down. Oh, you want the whole sorry. Place to hear you? Damn it. The arrangement called for a trade. 
I hope you'll find All this right. And we get a gold amber necklace. Thank you very much. Have you heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? Ah, the they damn the elves. elves built it. Any other People rumors? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your oh, face. Oh, that's interesting. Make you look completely different. Um, refill my water, please. Sure, we'll just do that here. Even though we can just fill it from the lake, but... Well, water from the tavern is probably more sanitary. Let's look. see what we can sell to Wilhelm. I think we can... Yeah, let's let's start selling him. He's got 352 gold. Okay. Let's sell all of our flowers and crap that we collected. And we get a speech increase there. And uh, these Nern roots, sell them. Okay, we, we are going to sell those. And that's pretty much all the gold he had. Anything good? Boar leeks do... Sure, I'll take one of those. Um, anything else that's good? I don't know. There's so many freaking foods that you can have in uh, in Wildlander. It's there's a lot of different foods. Hunter's hearty stew, rare bit ragu. <laughs> like, you know what? That I just like the name of that, so I'll take that. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you very much, Wilhelm, and. Uh, Watch your step. All right. It's a long way down. Okay, whatever you say. And let's just warm ourselves by the fire. We've made it to Iverstead. And um, let's let's go let's go fishing. Let's take a nice little a nice little fishing break. Let's see if we can get a pogfish or a goldfish. Those are the two fish that we still need on the list. So let's head over. Let's head over here. It would be nice to get a horse as well, if we could find ourselves a horse, but they're quite expensive, as you can imagine, so... Here's a little uh, alchemy shop, Joffrey's Corner. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this stuff. I guess this is free for the taking. It's not listed as stolen, so we'll take it. Let's stop into this little alchemy shop and see if he has anything good for sale. I'd rather have health potions than a bunch of gold. I really like this alchemist shop, by the way. This is added in by... I don't know what mod adds this in, but it's one of the Wildlander added-in locations. And I love this Spriggan statue here with all the leaves and everything. Very cozy. Hello there. Make it quick. What have you got for sale? Take a look. And let's see, what does he have? Um... Yeah, he's got a mix of stuff. Uh, should we? What should we get? Anything good? Um, nothing really stands out to me. I think. I mean, resist fire, resist frost. These are really expensive. Yeah, I think that's all right. I really want to get like remarkable restore health because I just want to have that assurance that if we're in a bind, we can just restore our health quickly. Alright, here's a nice little dock. Why don't we, uh, why don't we take out our fishing rod? And let's throw our line into the water and see what we catch. And this is going well. Um, our speech skill has increased a lot from all the buying and selling. And, uh, you know, it's gonna take us twice as long to level up in this playthrough because of the... Requiem skill set to 50%, but I like the challenge, and I like the feeling of struggling. I don't know if it's a masochistic thing or what, but I don't know. I, I like that feeling when you're, you're having to make the most out of, like, every little thing, and you're having to really think, like, how to strategize, how to make money, how to level up, how to make the most of every little thing. That feeling of struggle is so entertaining to me. I don't know why, what it is, why it, I like it so much, but let's see what we catch here. We've already got a few fish. Um, good, we got a pogfish. All right, we only need a goldfish now. That's the last thing on the list, and then we can trade in for our reward from the Rifted Fishery. And uh, this has been a very good 
a very good uh, episode, I would say. I think we've made a lot of progress for Roval today. A child's doll? Huh. Well, that's kind of sad. A child lost their doll in the lake. There's still fish in here, though, so let's keep fishing. I just need a goldfish. Come on, let me catch a goldfish. Alright. Let's see here. I really wish Bethesda put more effort into this fishing minigame. I know I talked about it last episode, but... A more interactive fishing game than just wait until something is pulling on the line and then you hit E and you pull it in. Like, it's just not as engaging as I would have liked. It kind of feels like they were just like, Oh, we're adding fishing because every game has, has to have a fishing minigame now. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Let's see what else we can catch. More junk. Alright, an empty glass bottle. We can uh, use that to make bear carrot stew. We just gotta fill it with some water and then we got our bear meat and our carrots. Alright. We're still getting bites here, so let's see what else we can get. Another carp. Okay. Give me a goldfish, come on. I just need a darn goldfish. If we can't get one here, we might have to head to Falkreath, because I know an exact spot where they, they have goldfish. But I'd like to just catch one. Like normal. A large animal bone. Alright, we can make an engraved bone with that. I also need to get some small animal bones, so maybe we should hunt down uh, some rabbits or something. If we can find a rabbit and hunt it, then we can... Uh, a corundum flagon, okay. Let's see, is there any more fish at this location? I don't think there is. Yeah, there's no more splashing on the water, so after this I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if we can uh, move to another spot or something. Um, Alright, good, an animal bone small. Actually, I wanted that. Alright. Let's open our survivalist toolkit now, and let's see what we can make. Okay, I can make... What do I need? I need three animal bones to make these bone amulets. And I don't have enough skill to make any bone rings yet, but the bone rings are also really good. Um, yeah, we just need two more small animal bones. I'm gonna use this engraved bone of Kinnereth. Uh, let's make some good tinder from this tundra cotton, and yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, here, let's see, before we call it for the day, I want to see if we can find some small animal bones. Can I find some small animal bones, please? Um, here, let's see, what's over here? This is just a guard tower. Uh, there's an elk. If I can find a rabbit, I could probably get small animal bones off of it. Yes. This guy... All right. We could just take this guy's boat back to Riften when we're done. But let me see if I can uh, find a rabbit or something. There's an elk. Um, let's take this nerd root. And, uh... Yeah. If not, I can just probably buy one from a shop. And then we can make a little bone amulet. Um, they really gotta cut the... trim the weeds here in Iverson. I feel like this place is so overgrown. Alright, let me just look around. I want to see if we can find a rabbit. This shouldn't be hard to find. There's a goat. Alright, let's see. Let me... let me take out my crossbow. Let's, let's do a little hunting. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Let's load up the crossbow. It's gonna be very slow to load because we have no perks. We need perks to make this reload faster. Alright, let's see. Alright. Ah, totally missed that. That was an awful shot. Can I get my bolt back? Uh, I don't know where the bolt is. Alright, it is what it is. Let's reload another bolt. Okay, the goat is right there. I think you can get small animal bones off of goats, so let's take a shot. How did that not hit him? Come on. Alright, at least he didn't notice. We whiffed the shot. 
There we go. Nice shot. Good shot, Rovald. Alright, let's reload this just in case we see anything else. And let me harvest ingredients from this goat. I field dress you. And then we're going to try to get animal bones. We just need to let's see what we get. We get goat horns and yes! Perfect! Perfect! That's what we needed. Awesome. I love this. I'm so, I'm feeling so happy right now. All right, survivalist toolkit. And let's see, let's get the, let's get the bone amulet of the snow moon. This will increase our carrying capacity by 10 points. And let's put that around our neck. We also got this gold amber necklace and we can sell that as our reward from the metery quest. Awesome. Very good. And uh, we get a nice little bonus to our carry capacity. We have 180 max carry weight now. And that'll go up as we increase our survival skills. But uh, I think we're going to probably take... What, what is this? Uh, oh, man. There's a bear. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Should we try to take a shot on the bear? I don't want to hit anyone friendly. Okay, there's a shot. Marksman increase. Very good. Okay, slowly reloading our bow. Oh, back up, back up. Alright. I think we can do this. What the heck? There's just a skeleton in the middle of the... of the bridge. Okay. Alright, the guards got it. Okay, good. We can, uh, we can harvest from this bear. And, uh, and then after we do this, I think we'll head back to Riften. Let's just, uh, field dress him. We got some arrows off of the bear. And let's harvest ingredients and we'll butcher the meat. And we're getting thirsty and peckish. Let's have some cooked bear meat. Alright, it is dark and raining. Why don't we butcher the meat from this bear? Okay, we got a lot of bear meat off of them, um, and it's very dark, holy crap. Alright, I think we're going to have to call it in just a second here. What should I drop though? Let me drop this flagon, this child's doll, and I'll drop some of this bear meat, we can't carry all of it. Uh, let's see, let me drop like 10 bear meat, okay. Let's have a Nord mead. And, uh, let me drop, like, one or two more bear meats. Okay, good. Alright, we'll just leave that there, I guess. And this has been a pretty good episode. Um, oh no, this poor guy got killed. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess we'll take his Nord meat. He also had an iron lock pick. Oh, that's sad. Oh, man. Uh, Alright, well... Someone's gonna have to uh, get rid of the body. Alright, it's a dark and rainy night. I might just actually stay the night at the tavern. So I think we'll stay here in Iverset for the night, and then maybe in the morning we'll go back to, uh, to Riften. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Rovald is starting to feel like a real adventurer now. He's got some gear. He's got some gold in his pockets. He's hunting and harvesting all kinds of animals and fish. And he's really enjoying this life of an adventure that he's chosen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Drop a like and subscribe. Leave a comment with your thoughts, suggestions, whatever. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.